Hi. And welcome to four days in the wake up. Isn't that right? Yeah. No, three days in the wake up, people. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Wake up on Wednesday and we roll out. Three days in the wake up. Counting. <laughs> and I wanted to like come on and tell you about it because I'm so excited. I, we've already like we've been really like planning ahead this time so it's gonna be like so much easier and this is the shirt I got that I'm possibly gonna be wearing it's from Ralph Lauren I think it's very elegant and look down here it's got the little symbols RL meaning Ralph Lauren so yeah I'm hoping that she chooses this one in a way because this one and the gold one I like I think I like the best but I don't know I have to really like get a feel and she has to like tell me her thoughts too but I saw other girls wearing turtlenecks so I think it's kind of classy and I'm gonna be doing a, a monologue from Crucible and I'm gonna be Al Abigail so I'm hopeful and yeah I'm gonna have my hair done so it's not gonna be like this but we have our itinerary our whole map well this is Google Maps it's so much better by the way just so you all know if you're ever going on a trip do Google Maps because they are like the bomb.com and like I literally you can even like this one is a walking one yeah that's like, um, let's see what it says, 0. 0.60 miles, 12 minute walk from our hotel to the MMG place. So we're going to just be walking. And then this is from our store car, car parking spot to our hotel. Yeah. Um, and it tells you, like, that's literally the directions. Because it's so freaking simple. Um, yeah. We just have to head northwest on West 28th Street towards 6th Avenue. And it's on 6th Avenue. So that was, yeah, that's over by, actually it's on 123rd West 28th Street in New York. New York, New York. I'm da -da -da -da. It always makes me think of that song, New York, New York. I'm going to, like, go out there and be singing, like, on camera. People are going to, probably some people do. But, yeah, we're going to, like, basically park. And I put it for earlier in case we get there earlier, though I doubt we will. But, um, then we're going to go over to the hotel and bring our stuff and put them in our room and then we're gonna go down and we're gonna go walk to MMG and back and see what it's like like the distance and everything so we understand for the next day because I want the next day to be so simple and easy and problem free you know and that's what I hope so we're gonna get our jackets from Sheldon Cleaners on Monday Everybody is Isaac's getting his one washed and I got mine washed and they did a like a specialty thing for mine because it had a stain on it. And it's white, it's pure white, so it's harder, I guess, to get it off. So yeah. But it doesn't charge extra, so they just needed my approval. But so otherwise we would already have had our jackets back. But I want it to be nice and then we're gonna get a car wash before we go and we're gonna clean our whole car out. So it looks nice when they part have to park it, you know. And it's like not valet, but yeah, they park it for you. So you go in there and the place we got it on, I looked it up too. I looked everything up because that's just kind of personal. That's how organized. This is our little parking permit thing. And we have to have this when we go in there. And it has our car on it and how much we paid. And then, like, just this is the basically our ticket, our valet parking. So the valet will retrieve your car and your. this is when you leave. But when you get there, 
You, the valet will hand you a ticket and confirm how long you plan on parking and will park your car. And then you have to have the ticket when you leave. And when you return to the facility, you show the valet at the shop spot hero parking pass and the ticket you received upon arrival. And then if your vehicle is considered oversized or parked outside of the reservation times, you will pay these fees now with the credit card. But we won't be because I don't plan on being there over that time limit because my manager said it'll only be a couple hours that we're there. So as long as everything goes smoothly, and I think it will, and we get there in time and I do my best at my thing, which I've already practiced and I already did it. I use the Scene Buy app and I'm going to be sending that to my manager and with some pictures of this shirt, me wearing this shirt. I'll put some on my Instagram too because I think it's cool, a cool shirt. I got it in the mail the other day and I just didn't want to do it yesterday because I was feeling raw. And so I decided today. And yeah, I was just in the mood. And um, yeah, that was that. And we're going to be going to a hotel. First hotel is, these are all choice hotels because that's our, like our favorite place. First one is in Erie, Pennsylvania, and then we go into the New York one, and our third one is in Portage Township, Ohio, and then we come home, and so we have like three nights staying now, and they're all choice hotels, and we did Ebates with it, and we did our points perks. Um, Basically, if you do points with it, then you get, um, Choice Hotels lets you choose if you want, where you want to put your points, and we always use, generally use gas, so, because we use Shell, and Shell does rewards, and we have rewards for Shell, so you can get up to a certain amount percentage off on gas, and we have 10 cents right now that we've kept pushing back because we don't want to do it until we're ready, to like really load up our gas so basically if you get shell and you, it'll every once in a while give you like extra rewards if you don't really want to fill up the whole amount at that time then say no and you can like keep saying no until you're ready to like really use it and make it worth your while because otherwise you always get five cents off if you have the rewards club on shell that's just a, for, for your information because you know, Shell's pretty good gas, and that's what we always use, so. Ever since starting with them, we used to use Speedway, and they had a pretty good um, reward system, too, but they stopped allowing you to use your rewards toward gas off in Michigan. So we said, you know what, fuck it. And we went to regular ones, and we'd use Meyer and basic ones, whatever was cheapest. But ever since using Shell, like, when we can, we really want to load up, we do. And another thing I like about Shell is that they let you use debit at the pump and you can put your pin code in and it won't take out like buttloads of money unless the person inside doesn't know what they're doing. Then you might get scooted over like we did last time, but most of the time they do know and you just push debit and you're it's on you that you're doing it, so. I think it was just that kid was new and he didn't know what he was doing. But, yeah. But that's what we're planning on. And might just go and look around and stuff. At least go some, some probably one place that's nice to eat. And otherwise, yeah. <laughs> um, That's our plan. And I'm really excited because this has been something I've dreamt about. And... This is like my second thing to really bettering my career and I put it as a, a like, not like just putting out money for nothing. I think of it as like putting an investment. It's an investment into the future and to my career. And I've noticed I got a lot more link people on LinkedIn that look at my stuff so you know, I think when I do my demo reel and I actually put that out too as professional, you know, because I've only put out my picture so far. I think once they see me as like what I can do and portray, then maybe I'll be even more like 
I'll get more people because that's what so social media is all about people like if you want to go somewhere you have to like you have to be put your face out there and your best foot forward you know and it's gonna be nice to see where my agency is and see what it looks like and I'm so nervous I'm so excited though I'm really excited because they're on a very prominent place so it's not like just crap hole it's actually very respectable because think about it it's right by like all the downtown Manhattan area or wherever it is I don't know if it's Manhattan or what but it's downtown New York okay that's all I know it's like close to like the time um Empire State Building and stuff so another thing I wanted to show you was something I got to um I just got not too long ago these are, this is the Sephora um, collection, Dry Clean Instant Brush Cleaner, and I really like it so far. I've used it for a good amount of my brushes because I'm, I'm going to have to do my makeup. This is what you do, and you kind of just take out however much paper towels you want or whatever you use. I use paper towels because you can throw them away, and they're like really cheap at Big Lots, so... You don't feel as bad, but you just can like paint. <laughs> like this is this is what it reminds me of. But these are the best brushes, by the way. I love Sephora like collection brushes. They are so wonderful. Like they are really elegant looking, and they feel luxurious. And I've had mine for years, and they still look nice. So there's some of the first luxury type um, style brushes I've gotten. So yeah. But I really like this brush cleaner so far, the way I've been using it, and for what I use it, would use it for. Yeah, I know people are upset that it probably won't last long, but I don't, I don't use mine, um, I don't wear makeup a lot, as you all know. I only ma mainly wear makeup for, like, if I want to doll up, if, if I feel in that mood, or if I'm, like, doing something special, special occasions, you know. Those are my main times because I don't believe in doing it every day. It really mess up your skin and I work too hard for my skin. But I'm loving what I'm doing lately. I think it really is boosting my freaking skin and the glow. And my helping with my acne because I have gotten so good. And there is a couple things, reasons I think that it's so I will share that with you in a minute here. But yeah, I don't even I haven't even been doing curology lately, people. So <clears throat> I stopped doing that at night. I think I was doing too harsh of stuff, so yeah. And you press it together, that kind of tells you if it's got anything there. As you can see, there's like literally hardly anything on the paper. And look at how soft it is. It's so soft. It feels like brand new. And it smells to me like so. I love the scent of it. I don't know about other people and how they feel. But I really love the scent. It's so like fresh. And it just smells better than some brush cleaners can. So yeah. I have a couple and a brush is left. So I was just going to do this, but a couple things I wanted, this is going to be a little bit harder, as you can see, show you it before, so you don't think I'm like cheating you all, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I was, I just like giving my reviews of things too, because I think it's a good idea to tell people what's out there, you know, and the good thing about also this is that it dries right away. And you don't have to like, you don't have to take forever to have it dry. Like, and it doesn't dry hard like some of those cleaners do. Like, I have other cleaners that they've taken forever to dry. And I get so freaking annoyed. Like, because you want to just use your brushes, you know. You want them to be soft and, and wonderful. And, <laughs> you know, it's like. It's annoying when they're like, the bristles are crap. 
but you know this stuff wasn't like horribly expensive it wasn't like cheap cheap like some females probably want to be like a couple bucks or something and still do all the great stuff but I mean for me it was pretty good for what I get I don't use makeup like I said all the time so I don't have to do this all the time you know I, d I just can do it a certain amount another thing that I like is that little circle one where you just rub the especially for my shadow brushes those come in like they are amazing for those shadow brushes eyeshadow brushes for you to especially in between if you like to use a lot of different colors then use that because it will be perfect for you and it's a circle thing I'll have to get the name of it but it's at Sephora they sell it there and you just dip it in and you swirl it in the tin in the little container and it's magic because it comes out and you're basically it's totally like usable right away and you know it's not deep cleaning or anything girls but and boys but I mean it's like it's pretty good still and I'm getting near the end everybody it's so exciting and this was my blush brush oh I still have some this was a blush brush so it got a little bit more kind of foul like the more you have my beauty blender was extremely filthy, so it took me for like ages. Like, I used that and that. Oh, I didn't really use that side. Huh. Okay. Huh. I'm almost out. I didn't realize I'd use so much. Oh, well, I did pretty much all my brushes anyway, so. Yeah, I did a lot of brushes, probably why it's almost out, but if I don't get these last two flower brushes done, oh well. Sorry, Drew. <laughs> this is pretty good to go. Like, some of these I don't really use very often anyway, so I, I did, like, my whole collection almost, but yeah, that's that. And I'll do maybe one of these. I'll do this one because it's a little less. But I don't know. Which one do I like better? I'll do this one because it looks a little bit less grody. That one I'll do next time when I get the next amount. But I won't be doing makeup until I go and do my actual thing. And one thing I wanted to also say I'm going to be doing. Yeah, I guess I ran out. I did that much. Oops. And I wanted to show you all. This one's not going to need much anyways because it looks like it's pretty low. Probably didn't have much on it anyways. <laughs> it has some stuff, but not much. But I have enough for my face. <laughs> so, as long as I don't use it anymore, I should be okay. But I will be getting another one of these for sure because... Though I used it all and I hit pretty much totally tapped, I do think it's worth it. Like, it's more that type of thing where you just do it, you know, a certain amount. And yeah. See that? It's like empty. <laughs> oh my gosh. I like literally used it all. But. You know, these eye eyeshadow brushes can get a little more dirty, too. This one's actually pretty clean, so I should be able to use that one. This has brown on it, so I won't be able to use that. But I hope you saw enough of that to realize how good it was. And yeah, it goes out quick as $14 for that. But, you know, I'll probably get this for, like, my basic stuff. And I might still get a different one for my beauty blender. I would still have to find a different one because I think that one doesn't work as well with this. I don't really like how it did it. So I'll do different one for beauty blender cleaner. But my, my eyeshadow brushes, I'll definitely use that little tin thing. And the other brushes, I can use this. I really like how it smells though. It's the best. And I will still stay, say that. A couple of things that I believe helped me this time around. Um, and I'm going to show you something that I'm going to be, that's dirty anyway, 
I'm going to show you something I'm going to be doing too. If I can get through this all. My sand and sky mask. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's the best. It's amazing. This Clinique um, jelly. Love it. My skin is so hydrated and beautiful. And I'm not having acne as bad. So those are helping my skin a lot. And that's all I've changed really. And I stopped with my cure. My Curology and my skin is getting so beautiful. Um, these are things that I just got recently, and I'm still getting a lipstick from Kogan Doe, but this is the mascara that I will be using for my eyelashes. It's kind of cute, I think. It's cute. It's the, um, it's the Rushi Black, so it's a pretty one. And then I just got this Bobbi Brown eyeliner today today exactly this day so this is the perfectly defined gel eyeliner stylo gel eyeliner definition in scotch and it's a brown eyeliner I don't know if you can tell but here's what it yeah my hands look kind of I did a lot today that's what it looks like everybody it's just a pretty like natural looking Kind of simple, simple brown. So I got that because I want natural eye look. So I'm going to be using those two. And for the big finale here, this is what I'm going to try this month. This, like, for right away tomorrow. It's the Performix Stim Free Non Stimulant Thermogenic Fat Loss, Appetite Management, and Positive Moods. And it's got a multi-phase extended release beadlets in there. That's what it looks like. And this is just going to help me with my eating. And it helps with the overall mood and everything. And you just take one capsule as a dietary su supplement. Adults take, can take two capsules in the morning and one in the afternoon before meals with eight ounces of water. Do not exceed three servings or capsules per day. Please read the entire label before use. So I will take probably two in the morning. I'm kind of nervous to take two. So I might take one the first day tomorrow and see how it makes me feel because it has some extreme stuff in there. And if I don't feel good on it, I don't want to have it have too much in me. And I, I'm always so sensitive to this kind of stuff. It has green coffee in it. And I'm kind of nervous because I get kind of weird with green tea. So I don't know if it's going to make me that weird way again, but it does help with positive mood. And I like that too. And I like that it helps with your appetite management because I don't, I'm not having the defining gel because too much for us right now. So I'm, I went and got this at vitamin shop and I'm so nervous. I hope it works. But yeah, this is my video and I'm really excited to, to go and go on this journey with you. And it's been a long time in the making, everybody. This isn't just something I woke up in two seconds and said I wanted to do. No, it's been a lifelong dream. And I believe in pushing forward. So I hope that you support that and that you follow your own dreams in your own heart and do whatever life brings your way. Oh, toodles. Till next time.